What's going on everybody? Welcome to another Wednesday in the workshop. I'm Adam, glad you could join me today. Hey, today we're gonna be talking about powder paint temperature for the curing. Um, I ran into a lot of issues early on where the back of the powder paint, Protec powder paint, um, the canister says needs to cure at 350 for 20 minutes. That creates the chemical reaction, hardens the paint, um, so I have my toaster oven, I set it to 350, um, stick it in there for 20 minutes, and what I ended up with, uh, even using a fluid bed, was paint that was sagging and dripping off of the bottom of the jig head. So if you've never seen that before, I have one here. This is just a goofy little swim jig that I put together. Um, you know, I can use the heads because it doesn't really bother me. It doesn't, doesn't change the functionality of it. It just looks like crap. Um, but anyway, this is what I'm talking about. So you can look at that head. See this little nub right here? So in the, in the toaster oven, it would hang by its hook like that. So as it cures, it's going to drop down to that lowest spot. So what causes this? Could be a couple of things. Obviously we want to avoid it. So how do you avoid it? Um, a couple of things would cause that. One, you're getting too much paint on the head. So as it cures, it clumps up and sags. A fluid bed, which we did a video on a while back, uh, will really help that. It loosens up the, the paint. You get a really thin layer on it. Um, it's definitely step one, but just as important is figuring out what the true temperature is on your toaster oven. And what I mean by that is I put a gauge inside of the toaster oven, having talked about this with some buddies online, and I was told, you know, you better check the toaster oven true temperature inside because what's going on inside may not be exactly what is on the, uh, di on the dial. So let's take a look. I've got mine on. I've got a gauge inside just to give you an idea of how far off the gauge can be to what the, the heat is inside. Okay, so here's my toaster oven. Let's get a close up of the shot that I have it set at. So if we go over here, you can see set right at 350. The gauge is on the inside. So what is the true temperature? with that gauge, 415 degrees. And that will range high and low. I have the temperature set at 482 just so that the, temp, the alarm won't go off on us. But right now, over 400 degrees difference, or I'm sorry, over 400 degrees inside with a 60 degree difference. And that'll range up. I've seen this go up as high as 420. And of course, you can see it now at 406. Regardless, the paint is made to cure at 350 for 20 minutes. So if it's too hot for too long, it'll start to sag. So I hope this was helpful to you. Here as I stand, 421. So again, 70 degree difference between what's really going on inside and what the dial says. So for me, I dial it back to about 300, maybe even just a little below 300 to get that perfect little sweet spot. If it never gets up to 350, that's fine. I actually called ProTech and asked them, what is the minimum, the minimum temperature needed to create the chemical reaction to cure that paint? And they told me 275. So even if you wanna dial it back underneath of 300, but then extend the time, which is something they also mentioned, if you go less than 300, 350, you may need to extend the time to give that curing process enough. But regardless, I have found a lot of success, far fewer drips. Um, there's certain paints that will still do it when they're a little thicker. If I accidentally get too much paint on the head when I'm uh, powder painting or whatever, that'll still happen. But generally speaking, if you can uh, dip it well in the fluid bed, keep the temperature in the range um, of that 350 or below, and then just gauge your time with however much you need, you should be good to go. So hope this really helps you out. I know it's uh, been a, a game changer for me. And until next Wednesday, 
I'll see you then.